This video is the fourth and final installment in the 32-bit mod organizer series. Information from the other videos will not be repeated here and will assume that you have viewed them. And the one, and the two, and the... The toolbar, as I am sure we are at least semi-familiar with by now, is located at the top of Mod Organizer. The Archive tab, as mentioned in the Downloading Mods video, is used to install mods from archives. For in-depth information about mods, view the second video in this series. The Nexus tab, the globe icon will bring you to nexusmods.com for whichever game that Mod Organizer is currently managing. The Profile tab. The ID icon opens the Profiles window, which allows you to edit current profiles and add new ones. Profiles are covered in depth in the previous video. Modify Executables tab. The Gears icon opens the Modify Executables window. This is where we add and manage all third-party applications that are run through Mod Organizer. In-depth coverage of this option can be found in the previous video. The Tools tab. The puzzle icon opens a drop-down menu presenting two ways to modify your INI files and a non-functional Nexus Mod Manager migration option. How to use the INI file options is covered in the previous video. The Settings tab. The Tools icon opens the Settings window. Here we can adjust practically everything that Mod Organizer has to offer, including workaround implementation. Most of this window was covered in the installation and setup video, however, we will cover some customization options here shortly. The Warning tab. The yield icon informs us of potential issues within our load orders. A grayed out icon indicates that there are no major issues within your setup. A colored in icon indicates that you potentially have an issue. The number within the icon indicates how many issues you may have. Selecting the icon will open a window which informs us of the potential issues. Just because something is listed here, it does not necessarily mean that anything is wrong. Just be aware of any changes that you make to your mod manager. The Update tab will inform you if Mod Organizer has an update. Since Tannen is no longer maintaining MO and 1.3.11 is the final version, updates will no longer happen. The Help tab provides us with some helpful tips and information. Selecting Help on UI will allow you to highlight pieces of MO's interface and if a question mark icon appears, you can click on said piece and receive some information about it. There are three types of shortcuts that Mod Organizer allows us to create. Toolbar Shortcuts To place a shortcut on your toolbar, select an application from the Run drop-down menu. Select the Shortcut drop-down menu to the right of the Run menu. Select Toolbar. You can now launch the application from the toolbar instead of from the Run button by selecting its icon. Desktop Shortcuts Like the Toolbar shortcut, assure that the application is selected from the Run drop-down menu, select Shortcut, Select Desktop. You can then launch the application via Mod Organizer from your desktop without MO even being open. Start Menu Shortcuts. Just like the other two options, select an application from the Run drop-down, select Shortcut, select Start Menu, and a shortcut will be added there. Mod Organizer offers a few ways in which you can change its appearance, as well as a bit of display information. Open the Settings window. Language allows you to select from the different language options of which Mod Organizer can be translated to. Style gives you three options to choose from as to how you would like the interface to appear. You can also download and install additional interface options of which links will be provided in the description to a few pages that offer them. Compact Download Interface if activated, will shrink the Mod Archive viewing items in the Downloads tab so that you can see more of them on screen at once. Download Meta Information, if activated, will provide additional information in the archive viewing items. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Mod Organizer, Toolbar Customization, and Conclusion. If anyone has felt that this tutorial was too fast, a text tutorial will be provided on nexusmods.com and linked in the description as time allows. I know that the text tutorials are slow in their creation, but the moment that I need to take a break from content creation, these videos, I will head over to Nexus and start taking care of them. This is a sentimental moment for me. The first tutorial that I ever created on Gamer Poets was one that had to do with Mod Organizer, and I created it mostly for myself because I couldn't visualize what I was trying to learn about. Trust me, I know that modding can be difficult, but if you stick with it, not only the process, but the community itself will become something that you grow to love. I would 
wouldn't know what to do without it. This tutorial, unless Mod Organizer's 64-bit version enters a full release state, will be my last MO tutorial on the channel. The four videos provided cover absolutely everything that the novice and advanced user could hope to know and need in a guide, and what I haven't covered will have no effect on modding your game whatsoever. Though if you like, I invite you to allow your curiosity to browse over the few untouched subjects, such as categories, on your own if you care to. It is my honor and privilege to create these videos for you. Thank you for all of the help, encouragement, and donations. Most importantly, like the bottom of the video says, thank you for your time. As always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you for watching.